another session of Roland's Recap. We're sitting you sitting to you. We're coming to you. You know what? I'm so excited right now. 1800 Rodeo. Is that the way we say it? Or we say it 1800 Rodeo here in Mesquite, Texas. Mayhem in Mesquite. We have 14 bouts of action pack. MMA, Mixed Martial Arts, at its best. I'm gonna tell you right now, I've got the fight card here in front of me. The United Amateur Cage Fighters Association is presenting none other than the Chop Shop Extreme Cage Fighting. I'm gonna tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to look at this. This right here is 14 bouts. I'm gonna tell you, this fight fan right here, who hungers, and I know that you thirst for this type of action. We're gonna be looking at it live. You stay with us as we come to you, bout by bout, bringing you the winner and finding out what it takes to make this action happen because we're going to be visiting with the winners and finding out up close and personal how they took full control of their opponent. You stay tuned for bout number one. Okay, we're here and gentlemen, live. we come to the first bout. I tell you what, cxcfights.com. I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this right here was an awesome display. I've got nothing but Derek Perkins. Let me yes, shake sir. that hand, baby. Yes, I tell you what, let me go and give you the clip notes right now, ladies and gentlemen. Second round, two minutes and 31 seconds. I'm going to tell you, he plummeted, he pulverized his opponent, Brant Shaley. I tell you what, I'm going to ask you right now, Derek. Sir. Tell me what went on. I know the first round was back and forth. You took a couple of shots in that first round. Tell me what's going on. I clipped him a couple of times. But he hit me with a pretty good shot. I dropped my hand, so I knew in the second round, if I kept my movement up, he would be, I'd be able to get in on him. I'd be laying shots. He got tired, so he started trying to take me down. I see a takedown coming. That's when I was able to get the full amount of it. But I'm going to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, he's a little humble in his expression of what happened. I'm going to tell you, he caught him with a good blow to the midsection in the middle of the second round. I'm going to tell you right now, when you caught him in the stomach with that, I saw the hands getting slow. Yeah. I saw the whole defense started yeah. getting down, baby. And it went down, and you know what you did? Then you took full control, and you pulverized. Let me tell you, what did it feel like when you started just pulverizing his good. head, his face? Tell me how it felt. It felt good. I tell it you felt what, real baby. good. I tell you what, baby. You better keep your eyes on this deck. I forgot I'm to tell coming. you this. I tell you, I'm I'm this. this was his amateur debut, baby. Coming. He's coming to you here. I tell you, what, any, any quick shout out to anybody? I want to give a shout out to my trainer, Antoine, training me. He the reason I fight the way I fight now. I got my all my teammates right here. I want to give a shout out to everybody over here that came and supported and helped me out today. A big shout out to Arlington MMA. Arlington MMA. Bringing us the action. Bringing us the action, baby. Us the action, baby. Us. They're all here. We I'll tell you what, stay tuned. We bringing it. For bout number we two. We bringing it. Come, Come to in. the second we'll bout. We'll see you on the cxcfights.com fight card. I want to tell you, I've got two warriors here with me. I can only tell you right now, to my left, Preston Duncan. These are 135 pound fighters. And to my right, Zach McKay. I'm going to give you the cliff notes right now. One hell of a fight. But I'm going to tell you, it ended up a draw. I'm going to ask. Preston, first of all, tell me your points, what you thought happened here. Zach was a mighty boxer. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I thought the first round with you around, you had a rear naked choke and you let it slip away. Tell me what happened. I couldn't, just, I couldn't keep it in. I slipped out of it. I tell you what, this young man was elusive. There's no doubt about it. But I'm going to tell you in the second round, it came back to your house. I'm going to tell you right now, Zach, tell me what happened in the second round. What did you hear? What did you feel from the first round that got you ready for the second round? Uh, the rear naked chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I got his attention. I got out of this. We got another chance. Well, as you can see right here, Zach, you can see McKay got more striking in. You can see that. Very good round. You see my now, face? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, baby. I'm going to tell you. Then I come back. Here's what happened the third round, ladies and gentlemen. I got to tell you, I got it right here. It, Preston Duncan, explosive. At the first, he jumped all over you. I think that's what I see now. But I'm going to ask you, what did you feel coming out on the third round? Where did you feel you had to be? Just try to finish it. <laughs> okay, had to finish it. Zach, what were you thinking coming into the third round? I mean, it was a rubber type of round that really had to go your way. Uh. I didn't land a kick. I didn't. Accuracy's off. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. The flying spinning kick, baby. I saw that. How many times did you throw that? Too many. <laughs> Too many. Sure well, I tell you what. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. These are two warriors here. I can only congratulate them. They were both coming out on their amateur debut. To my left, Bre uh, Preston, I think, Chop Shop MMA. Is that correct? 
and you were with Fly Combat. Is that correct, Zach? That is correct. How about a little shout out to anybody you want to do right quick? Uh, shout out to everybody from Chop Shop for helping me get ready for this fight and all the work they helped me put in and get me ready for it. That's right. And how about a shout out over here, Zach? Uh, thanks, my team, Fabian, John. Uh, this fight's for Kobe Brashaw. He died uh, March 3rd, 2011. It's for you, man. These 135 pounders are going to be back. Stay tuned for bout number three as okay, they bring you the results. When it comes to bout number three, I'm going to tell you this right here was a very technical battle. I'm going to have to shake the hand of our winner, Joe Calhoun, Thanks, on man. a unanimous decision. I want to tell you what the judges said. 30-27, 30-27, 29-28, no doubt a convincing win. Making your amateur debut. I tell you what, you made, you made not quick order, but you made a technical order of J.D. Ferguson, who was 0-1 out of uh, Reyes Jiu-Jitsu. Tell me what you think about the fight and what you saw. Well, it was a tough battle. Uh, it took a lot of conditioning to get through it, a lot of hard work. We work hard with my coach here, Goop, but he, he is the man. <laughs> that man teaches me everything, he's taught me everything I know. He's there for me every night to work with me, and they took every bit of that to win. Well, I've got to tell you right now, it was a seesaw battle. The way we actually saw it was a technical win on your behalf. No doubt you've got style, you've got game. Tell me what is on the plans, what's on the horizon for Team Calhoun? Uh, just whatever fight comes our way, uh, maybe a little lower weight class. It was kind of a, it's, he had quite a bit of size on him. Yes, yes. So maybe a little bit lower weight class and just, just fighting whenever we can. Well, Joe, let me, let me go and give you a little, little second right here. Need a shout out to anybody right now. I know you already did a shout out here my to coach. your coach. Oh, another one, oh, baby. Brother. That's my brother. He's fighting in a couple fights. Yes, and Chop Shop. Chop Shop for sponsoring us to come to this fight and getting us the fight and all my families and friends. Uh, God. Again, another big congratulations. God. God. Oh, God himself. Oh, God, for sure. Oh, I'll I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. As we bring this to a close, Joe, I'm going to congratulate you. You stay tuned for bout number four. We're bringing you the... Okay, okay ladies, ladies and gentlemen, come to bout number four. I'm going to tell you, I've got a warrior right here. Look at the way he looks. This man is MMA, the definition. None other than David Coletti here. Let me shake your hand, baby. i tell you what. What we had here was a second round stoppage. It was a TKO at two minutes and 39 seconds. I'm going to tell you, David, right now. I want you to tell me how you felt in the ring. Tell me what you thought. How we came to meticulous end that you brought to this? I was a little nervous getting in my, my debut, but I got in there. I heard my coaches, and my corner man talking to me. And, you know, we work on my single leg, my takedown, uh -huh. takedown control. It. You know, the ref brought me up at one time. I didn't think I needed to be brought up. But I was like, all right, I'm punishing him. I thought I had him defeated mentally in the first yes. round. The second round, I took him down again, and I could see in his eyes. He was like, man, I'm done. And I just wanted to work. So I worked to the side, the mount again. Back to the side, I was trying to get the crucifix. Yes, sir. He's a little slippery. I didn't want him to sneak out the back. So my coach said, go back to the mount. So I back to the mount, he started raining down. And when he looked up, he was just holding his hand up like he was hoping to block me or something. Like that, you, know? you know what I, I love? Over. You know what I love about what you did? Methodical, strategic, but I'm going to tell you right now. Tremendous kicks to the ribs in the first round. Great wrestling. You took total control. I even have right here, you had an instinct of stalking your prey, baby. And that's what you did. You wore him out. You look right here, baby. You defined yourself. The kingdom was yours. The cage was yours tonight. And then what I see right here, you were on the ground. The majority of the time in the second round, was that the strategy that you had where you knew you could just wear him out? You know, it's completely on your feet. They can get lucky. On the ground, there's really not that much luck to it. It's skill, it's power, it's technique. I go against the best pros in Texas all the time, you. and they beat my ass. And I'm like, you know what? It's my turn to beat somebody else's ass. Well, this is Mr. Coletti right here. He's defined himself, no doubt about it. Cut now raising his record to 1-0 and oh as an amateur. How about a quick shout-out to anybody? Octagon okay. in MMA? Octagon MMA, my coach, Safe Saud, Bruno Bastos, my corner man, Clay Hans, most importantly, my wife, Elena, and my four-month-old son, Christian Joseph, and my two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Jordan Marie. They're at home cheering for Daddy. I get to go call him now. Keep your eyes on this stalker, baby. He's a scavenger at times, but you know what he'll do? He'll take the win. Stay tuned for okay, number five. Okay, now we come to bout number five. I'm going to tell you, this right here was a beautiful, beautiful submission. Let me go ahead and expand on a tap out. Let me go ahead and tell you, ladies and gentlemen, a Kimura at its best. First round, two minutes and five seconds. Congratulations, Thank Mr. You. David Cashin. He was at one and one. Now you bring your record up to two and one. David, tell me what happened in here. It was quite obvious you were lurking in the parts of that cage, only looking for the opening. Tell me what you saw. 
Yes. I saw the footage on him. I know his stance, he ain't real aggressive. He waits. You know, he's like me, real passive. So I figured if I'm gonna take the fight, I'm gonna come out a little more aggressive than normal. Plus, this is, this is the first fight I've actually really, really trained for. Uh huh. So coming in, I was a whole lot confident, a whole lot more precision. On gotcha. The striking. Mm -hmm. um, versus my last, my first two fights, I really had no way to train me or anything like that. I, I really you. didn't have time. But, you know, I got my, got my wheels underneath me and uh, I'm ready for some more. What I love is the humbleness in this man's talk. Let's get very specific to the Camorra now because I know you had to feel the position. Tell me about the exact time that you felt that you had that position and you just started working it. I sat there and watched you bring it down just steadily. Well, the one of the first moves I ever learned, like training period, jiu-jitsu, was Kimura. And what I learned was, with the Kimura, if you can get a hold of that wrist, you can get the Kimura from anywhere. From your back, from your side, from on top. It doesn't matter. And just, I guess, like anybody else, everybody has a move they pick up right away, a move that they that they uh, naturally just love. They, they naturally gotcha. instinct wise gotcha. grab it and go into it. And, you know, the Kimura is mine. That's what I was thinking. Just lurking. I think he used a better word than instinct. But you know what? CXC fights. Dot com, giving you the opportunity to come out here. Any shout out to anybody right now that you'd like to just take a time? I want to thank uh, Alex Russ, okay. everybody at the gym, XKO, for helping me train. Um, Brandon, uh, who just got back from the Abu Dhabi Nationals, thank you for working with me on the ground. Um, besides that, my good friend Roger, my family, he's always been supportive of me and anything I've done. A couple of them out there right now yelling for me. I think they're the only ones yelling for me, though. I gotcha, I gotcha. But, uh, I think I earn the people's respect, and that's all that matters. Well, David, I want to congratulate you one more time. I tell you, Thanks. ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be hearing some little noise out of this man because you know what? He's humble, but he's big, heavy on the hands. Stay tuned for about number six.